coming up next on Changing Your World. Your victory over your finances, your victory over sickness and disease, your victory over your enemies, your victory is already done. Quit trying to get victory and go ahead and receive victory that has already been finished. This is what our faith is all about. You can interact with Creflo Dollar Ministries anytime, anywhere. All of this is at your fingertips with our state-of-the-art custom-designed app. With the broadcast feature, you can access your favorite messages, sermon series, and more. Add events to your calendar, set reminders, get directions, share with friends, and even give securely through this platform. Visit creflodollarministries.org slash app or text app to 51555 today. This is your world, so let's vow to make it a better place. Let every heart that needs to know, you love is here to stay. Oh, it's time we live a new life. Let us love shine bright in you. We're saved by His grace, so we embrace your love today. As born-again Christians, as the righteousness of God, we now stand in this place of undeserved privilege. And we confidently and joyfully look forward to sharing God's glory. We are standing. You are the righteousness of God. If you're born again, say out loud, I'm the righteousness of God. It has the righteousness of God because you believe what Jesus did. You had faith in Jesus Christ. And your faith laid hold and took possession of righteousness that Jesus has made available to you and has brought you to a place of undeserved privilege. Not brought you to a place that you deserve to be at that place. You are at this place undeserved privilege. I am privileged to be the righteousness of God, privileged to be redeemed, privileged to have healing available to me, privileged to have wisdom available to me, not because I did something to boast about what I did to be in this place of privilege, but it is an undeserved place that is, I, God has brought me to this undeserved place, and I've got this undeserved privilege, praise God. So every time I declare I'm righteous, that I'm redeemed, that I have wisdom, that I have access to healing, access to prosperity, access to His promises, I don't dare do that without lifting my hands up and giving the credit and the glory where the glory is do. If it had not been for God, I wouldn't be in that place of undeserved privilege. Romans 3 and 22. Romans 3 and 22. He says, we are made right with God. How? By placing our faith in Jesus Christ. And this is true for everyone who believes, no matter who you are. I'm made right with God because of my faith in Jesus Christ, period. I'm the righteousness of God because of my faith in Jesus Christ, period. Now, so how much right do you have to do to be righteous enough? How much good do you have to do before you're good enough? See, this is where some are. We have more faith in what we do for, 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 uh, for Jesus than what Jesus has already done for us. I said we have more faith in what we do for Jesus than having faith in what Jesus has already done for us. Most of the stuff you pray about is already done. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying? It, it, it's like you're going to God trying to get him to manufacture something that's already been manufactured. It's, it's in this dimension, 
finished. It's in this unseen dimension, finished. It just needs a path to move from this unseen, finished place to get to you, <laughs> manifest this style. It's not that it's not been done. It's just you can't see what has been done. So you're going to have to use your mouth and your imagination <laughs> to set up a path for what's already finished to show up done. And what the devil would do sometimes is try to get you to use your imagination and your mouth to, to provide a path for stuff in his arena to show up in your life. So don't tell me it don't work because as soon as you say something stupid, it seems like stupid show up. <laughs> it's not that it's not done. It's already done. It's already finished. It's already been provided. It's already been made. Some of y'all working hard to try to get your bag. Excuse me, I'm, 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 I'm in Texas. Some of you working hard to try to get your money. It's done. It's finished. Stop looking for more action and start putting your faith in what Jesus has already finished. It's finished. Healing is already finished. You hear me? In each situation, cancer, whatever it was, my approach was not, oh, God, please heal me. My approach was, Father, I thank you that I'm already healed. I see it on me right now. What am I doing? I'm moving it from that, di that, that dimension to my physical place right now. I'm not trying to get him to do what he's already done. Do you know how frustrated you could be if I keep saying to you throughout the night, sit down. Didn't you hear me? Sit down. Well, you already seated. What's the matter with him? Why do you keep telling us to sit down and we're already seated? Imagine heaven's doing the same thing. Oh, Lord, please heal me. He's like, we did that. We did, we, we, we did that. Angel said, 2,000 years ago it's been done. I don't know what they're talking about. It's already done. See, th this is going to change your perspective of how you're, it's, it's done. Well, how come I'm having so many problems? Now, listen to me on this now. We must mature. We must, mat we must mature into our call. We must mature into that place that God has for us. We must mature into that plan. Quit being afraid of pressure. Stop being afraid of, afraid of trouble. Because you can use trouble to help you mature to that position where you are not presently. So if trouble comes, that ought to be shouting ground that's something getting ready to happen. And rather than you running from it and, 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 oh, Lord, I don't understand Jesus. I don't understand why it's happening to me. I just don't see why. why it, stop it. We've got to mature. The immaturity level in the body of Christ is at an all-time low. We complain about everything. We act almost like the world. It's all about us. It's about me. And we've got to mature. We, listen. One of the things I do every morning when I pray and doing my walks, one of the things I do is I have a space to pray for my enemies. I pray for people who I know don't like me because it's them not liking me that's helping me to mature to a place 
where that doesn't cause me to act like a wicked sinner and want to get back at you. I've already matured in an automatic place of saying, Lord, bless them today. Whatever's going on in their lives, Lord, help them out here. Help them out there. It takes maturity to do that. Now, now you remember when you were immature, you want to cut a joker. <laughs> but that's immaturity. We've got to mature to that place where God is calling us, that place where you are anointed, that place where you are appointed, and don't run from the trouble. Look at the trouble and say, you want some of me. You want some of me. Bring it home. You want, you want some of me. I will Miyagi you down. I, I'm not scared of you, and you got to, listen. <clears throat> the Lord said to me uh, oh, two and a half years ago, he says, if you can completely be free from people, I can use you in unusual ways. You're trying to set people free, and you're not going to do it until you get free from them. The worst bondage you can ever have is people bondage. I, I went through a, a, a situation where, to be honest with you, I was almost out of here. And I heard the voice of the Lord speak to me, and, and there are things that happen I can't even articulate. And, and a lot of people don't know a, a, a lot of things, but, you know, I'll just like, you know, okay. And God says, you're ready now. I said, why, why am I ready now? And I went, after 41 years, I'm ready now? <laughs> why now? He says, because you're not concerned about what people think and say about you. And he told me, he says, I'm going to use you to stir some stuff up, but you got to be free from people. And I am telling you in the name of Jesus, I love people, but I can't tell you how much I don't care what they say and how they say it. I don't. I, I ain't got time for that. As long as I got Taffy L. Dollar and my children and grandbabies and all of us and people that are in my life, your life is a sum total of who you have in it. It ain't a sum total of those people who don't pay your bills, who don't give you nothing to eat, who don't hug you and love you and take care of you. Some of you can mature a lot better if you can get delivered from people, but you're so in bondage to people, you can't hardly put nothing on me in your closet and wear it because you're so concerned about what the ladies in the church going to think about this when I wear it. Instead of saying, I don't care what they think about this. I bought this dress. I wear what I want to wear. If they don't like it, so be it. We got to be delivered from people so we can deliver people. What the people gonna think? What the people gonna think? What the people gonna think? And I tell you what, I am completely satisfied with understanding that my maturity, I can mature if trouble comes. Bring it on, I'm just gonna get better. I will not come out of a trial without wisdom. Don't you dare go through trouble and not come out with some wisdom. Amen? Amen. You, 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 you've been preparing all your Christian life for this season that is upon us. All your Christian life you've been preparing for this. And now it's here. So it's not a game anymore. It's not play church anymore. We have closed the circus down and put out all the clowns out of the church. It's not, it's not playing church anymore. This stuff is real. And you need to know your God. Let me, let me get back up here. So, no more afraid of trouble. No more afraid of pain. We have faith and what Jesus has already done. You're familiar in your past teachings, righteousness is your stance and your position with God. That's your stance and position with God. It's your ability to be able to stand in the presence of our Father as if you never sinned. That sin never existed because you're standing right in, the, in His presence. 
It's the ability to stand in, 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 the sense, in, in the presence of our Father without any sense of fear. Standing in the presence of the Father with no sense of fear, no sense of guilt, no sense of shame, no sense of inferiority. This is what this righteousness will do. I can stand in the presence of God. I am the righteousness of God, no sense of guilt. I am the righteousness of God, no sense of inferiority, no sense of shame, no sense of condemnation. And these are the things that the enemy will try to use to try to bring you down mentally. And that stuff gets on the inside of you and you forgot what, what, uh, what John 3.16 says. You, you have, this is the time to pass these tests. This is the time for you to know your God and allow him to mature you and use everything necessary to get you ready because it's game time now. It's game time, y'all. And I'm going to tell you something. We're going we gonna to whoop some devil, but it is game time. Listen, here, here is something, that's, something else that's already done. Our victory is already done. No, 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 no. You're not trying to get victory. You, you, you're, not, you're not trying to get you. Oh, well, I came here to give me some victory. No, you, you, <laughs> you're not trying to get victory. Jesus got it for you. Victory is already done. You're not moving from, from, from failure to victory. You're moving from victory by faith to victory to some more victory. You're moving from victory to victory. It's, victory is finished. Your victory is a, is a finished deal. Praise God. Your victory over the job situation, your victory over your finances, your victory over sickness and disease, your victory over your enemies, your victory is already done. Quit trying to get victory and go ahead and receive victory that has already been finished. This is what our faith is all about. This is what our faith is all about. Amen. Now, go to Romans chapter 10, verse 3. Romans 10, verse 3. Well, I'm just a preacher. What do I know? <laughs> Romans 10, verse 3 through 4. For, I'm going to read this out of here. Hold on a minute. He says, verse 3, for they being ignorant of God's righteousness, not knowing about God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness. You know, I heard something the other day. You know, you have to really study to keep up with how this generation, how to even talk. <laughs> My younger daughter was talking to me and I had no idea what she said. But I heard a phrase, I, and you may, you may be familiar with this. She says, you know, she said, like, my truth. And then I, I, and, and I thought, okay, so the truth now has been divvied up, and everybody got their own separate truth. And I'm trying to figure out, how does that work? All right, if you got your truth, and you got your truth, and you got your truth. And, and what I noticed was they were all... They were, most of the time they were saying, my truth. In other words, I'm doing something you don't like and you don't agree with, and then they say, well, that's my truth. No, you're going to kill yourself if you keep doing that. What do you mean that's your truth? Then I, had a, I heard another team that said, uh, they, they were laughing around, and, and, and they said, I'm dying. In fact, it was my grandson that said that, right? He, he said, what? I'm dead. Uh, yeah, he said, I'm dead. Ha, 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 I'm dead. I said, what? He said, ha, 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 I'm dead. I said, boy, don't say that. What's the matter with you? You can't be, ha, ha, ha I'm dead. You keep, ha, 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 I'm dead. You won't be dead. Come, don't be saying you dead. <laughs> he go, oh, Papa, ain't nothing wrong with that. It's just a saying. It ain't nothing. See, that's what, that's the, that's the devil's trick is to, to, to belittle it, make it seem like it ain't nothing. And I, I'm like, what, what? So it, it's establishing their own righteousness. This is my truth. 
Well, what, ha, ha, have you ever been exposed to the truth? Well, what is the truth? The truth is God and His Word. No, thank you. I have my truth. No, you have an excuse. That's not your truth. That is an excuse for you to be able to do what you want to do, trying to feel all right about it. Woo. After a while, I was just like, ooh, keep the grandkids out of the house for a minute. I just... <laughs> I, I thought about that. <laughs> I'm dead. What? I mean, think about that. That's the, that's the crazy, demonic influence that's on this generation right now. That everything is a joke, and, 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 and you try to talk to them, and, and I got a phone right here. Hey, so how was your day? Oh, it was good. Did you hear what I just said? Yeah, I heard everything you just said. What you doing? Nothing. And I'm thinking, if this was a cliff, you would fall. Because you're not paying attention to things. They go about and establish their own righteousness. The norms and values of society basically says, if you get some people to agree with you on this, then they'll try to turn it into a norm and then make it a value. And then one, night, one day somebody say, that's the truth. That's not how that works. For ladies and gentlemen, I declare unto you this day that there's about to be a mighty tsunami of God's glory to hit this world. And people are going to wake up wanting Jesus in their life. See, you think, you think that certain people won't change without you, but God can change people without you, honey. God can wake people up and make them so hungry for him that they'll give their life to Jesus. And there's about to be some supernatural conversions to take place in your life, to take place in your family, to take place on your job. God is getting ready to show out and show you that he is still the almighty God. Nobody saves like God. Nobody delivers like God. And the only thing you're going to have left to say is this is the Lord's doing. It's marvelous in our sight. So they're being ignorant of God's righteousness. And they're going about establishing their own righteousness, and they have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God, for Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believeth. Your position in righteousness is going to be a big key in this season. Your position in righteousness will determine how effective you will be in living the victorious life of faith and taking possession of the grace of God in your life. Why? Because the root of our behavior is our identity. And when we know that we're the righteousness of God, the day you believe that, you're going to do right. Do you work hard to make yourself presentable to God? Does it feel like a losing battle? Well, the struggle is over. In his series, The Difference Between Righteousness and Self-Righteousness, Creflo Dollar teaches that no one can make themselves righteous. It is Jesus Christ who provides life-saving solutions. Self-righteousness is when you are striving to get right with God. I believe what Jesus has done. Your position of righteousness is going to be your place of power. Every time I declare I'm righteous, that I'm redeemed, that I have wisdom, that I have access to healing, access to prosperity, access to his promises, I don't dare do that without lifting my hands up and giving the credit and the glory where the glory is due. If it had not been for God, all three messages can be yours for a love gift of 20 U.S. dollars for CDs or 30 U.S. dollars for DVDs. Scan the QR code, visit our e-store at creflodollarministries.org, or call the number on your screen to get yours before they run out.
Get ready for change. The message of grace is coming to a city near you. Join Creflo Dollar in Los Angeles, California on January 27th and Houston, Texas on February 23rd and 24th. You got to start thanking God before you see the manifestation. You got to start shouting before anything ever happens. You got to start living that life of thanksgiving. Come out for live morning confessions in person with Creflo Dollar. You don't want to miss the soul stirring sessions when you enter the room you see the excitement of the people you feel the anointing of god it's a game changer for me i think it's gonna turn my whole life around seating is limited so register now log on to www.creflodollarministries.org to check out the full 2023 change experience tour schedule pick up your phone and call the number on your screen or scan the qr code right now to register see you in your city We must respond to the spiritual laws of God. A proven principle Taff and I have operated in for many, many years is the law of sowing and reaping. Now, when you sow into this ministry, you are sowing into good ground. Why? You see, your seed is not wasted. In fact, your seed is a twice sown seed, meaning that it'll work in different places at the same time. Your financial seed goes toward helping hurting people, both globally and within our local communities. We thank God for your support. You may support Creflo Dollar Ministries outreach missions by calling us or visiting our website. You enrich lives in ways you can't begin to imagine. God bless you. Look no further for encouragement to walk in the grace of God. The Creflo Dollar Ministries TV app provides rewarding content that is sure to nourish your mind and soul. He is the God of miracles. All it takes is a mustard seed of faith. All it takes is for you to believe and dare to stand and dare to trust God. Treat yourself to enriching messages from Pastor Dollar on grace and walking in the likeness of Christ. God has already given you his son and told you he'll give you everything else. He don't need you to try to exchange something to try to get something. All he wants is your complete dependence on him. Respond to me and show me that you depend on me. Download the Creflo Dollar Ministries TV app on your Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, and streaming devices today to stream messages of hope, grace, and understanding when you need them most. Creflo and Taffy Dollar love connecting with you. And here at World Changers, we understand the importance of using technology to do just that. We're constantly working to bring the gospel of Christ to thousands of viewers and followers around the world. And we want you to get involved. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. We want to make the word of grace available throughout every voice of social media. Because of you, Creflo Dollar Ministries is providing a new understanding of grace and empowering change in the lives of millions of people every day. Thank you, partners and friends. Your love and financial support makes it possible to bring this message into millions of homes all across the globe. The preceding program was brought to you in part by the partners and friends of Creflo Dollar Ministries.